Max Verstappen wins Azerbaijan F1 Grand Prix. Red Bull or S Max Verstappen won the Azerbaijan Grand Prix on the 12th of June 2022. This is Verstappen or S 25th GP win of his career. This is also Verstappen or S maiden win at Azerbaijan GP and a first podium as well. Red Bull or S Sergio Perez claimed second place while Mercedes duo of George Russell and Lewis Hamilton finished third and fourth respectively. India to reintroduce cheetah from South Africa by August 2022. The government is set to introduce cheetahs from South Africa in Kunopalpur National Park in Madhya Pradesh by August 2022. It is being done as part of attempts to rehabilitate the species that had become extinct from the country. The government plans to introduce 8 to 10 cheetahs every year from South Africa. In 1952, the Indian government declared cheetah extinct in the country. North Korea appoints veteran diplomat as first female foreign minister. North Korea has appointed veteran diplomat Cho Sun-hui as its first female foreign minister. She replaces Ri Sung-won, a former military official who previously led talks with the South Korea. Cho has formerly served as North Korea or as vice foreign minister. North Korea is a country in East Asia. North Korea capital Pyongyang. Indian GM Pragnananda wins title in Norway Chess Open. India or as Grand Master R Pragnananda on the 10th of June 2022 emerged winner in the Norway Chess Group A Open Chess Tournament at Stavanger with 7.5 points from 9 rounds. He finished the tournament with a win over fellow Indian V Pranit. Pragnananda finished a full point ahead of second placed I am Marcel Afroimski Israel and I am Jung Min Seok Sweden. India create history by qualifying for FIFA Nations Cup 2022. India qualified for the FIFA Nations Cup FIFA 2022 for the first time ever on the 11th of June 2022 by defeating Korea Republic and Malaysia in Nation Series 2022 playoffs. India will join 23 other nations to compete at FIFA 22 Esports from July 26 to 30, 2022 in Copenhagen, Denmark. Organized and conducted by EA Sports, the FENC is one of three major esports events that are held on a worldwide scale. Avani Lekhara wins second gold at Para Shooting World Cup 2022. Avani Lekhara on the 11th of June 2022 won gold at the R8 Women or S50 meters 3 PSH1 event during the ongoing Chituro Para Shooting World Cup 2022. She won the medal by achieving a score of 458.3. This is her second gold at the event. On the 7th of June 2022 Avani had won a gold medal with a world record score of 250.6 in the women or S10 meters air rifle or secured a place at the Paris Paralympics 2024. Britain's queen becomes world's second longest reigning monarch. Britain or S Queen Elizabeth II on the 12th of June 2022 became the world or S second longest reigning monarch in history after France or S Louis XIV. She has overtaken Thailand or as King Bhumibol Adulyadev, who reigned for 70 years and 126 days. She was crowned in 1953 or as 96 years old. Louis XIV of France remains the longest reigning monarch, with a 72-year and 110-day reign from 1643 until 1715. Anant Technologies or Antares partner for development of satellites. Indian Aerospace Solutions provider Anant Technologies and US based satellite software solutions provider Antares have announced partnership for the development or launch of advanced small satellites for various use cases. The first satellite will be launched in September 2022. On the 1st of June 2022, Anant Tech also opened India or S largest private spacecraft manufacturing facility in Bengaluru. Indian National Krishna Srinivasan to head IMFS Asia Pacific Debt. India or S Krishna Srinivasan has been appointed as the director of the Asia and Pacific Department of the International Monetary Fund. He will succeed Chang Yong Ri, who announced his retirement on the 23rd of March 2022.
Srinivasan is currently a deputy director in the Asia Pacific Department of IMF. IMF founded the 27th of December 1945. IMF headquarters Washington DC. Us. India's hypersensitive airports to install PIDS by 2023. In a circular, the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security (BCAS) said that all or quote hypersensitive or quote airports in the country will have to install a perimeter intrusion detection system (PIDS) by December 2023. PIDS is a sensor that helps alert security agencies of any intrusion through the boundary walls of the airport. The BCAS is the apex body of aviation security in the country.